We've seen before how to work out the radius of a nucleus. It is equal to the cube root of the nuclear number, number of protons and neutrons in a nucleus, times by the radius of a proton, about 10 to the minus 15 meters. But what do we know about the density of the nucleus? It might seem a silly question, as we know how to work out density really easily, but let's look at it anyway. The answer tells us something very interesting about nuclei. Density is mass divided by volume. And the volume we are interested in here is the volume of a sphere. A nucleus could be better defined as a collection of spheres, but we approximate everything else, so why not here? The volume of a sphere is given as 4 thirds pi r cubed. Rearrange the equation to give us a value of mass instead of density. Mass equals density times volume. The mass of a nucleus can be given as a density times 4 thirds pi r squared. We know that the radius of the nucleus is cube root of the nuclear number, number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus, times the radius of a proton. So the radius cubed will be a nuclear number times the radius of a proton cubed. The mass of a nucleus can be expressed as 4 thirds pi radius of a proton cubed times nuclear number times density. But the mass of the nucleus is equal to the mass of one nucleon, or proton, times the number of nucleons, the nuclear number. So that means we can say that the mass of a proton times the nuclear number equals 4 thirds pi radius of proton cubed times nucleon number times density. Rearranging this equation means we can remove the nuclear number from our equation for density and say that the density of a nucleus equals 3 times the mass of a proton or a neutron divided by 4, pa, 4 pi times the radius of a proton or a neutron cubed. 4 is constant, pi is constant, the mass of a proton or neutron is constant, as is the radius of a proton or neutron. That means that the density of a nucleus, any nucleus, is constant irrespective of the number of protons or neutrons within it. This in turn suggests that the force holding the nucleus together doesn't differentiate between protons or neutrons. The attractive force holding the nucleus together seems to work equally well for protons as well as neutrons.